nuclear fusion, what it is and how it works. Nuclear fusion, which is the joining of two atoms into one, requires lots of energy, over 100 million Kelvin. However, it releases more energy than it takes for the reaction to occur. This means that the reaction is self-sustaining, or, in other words, it can provide its own energy so it can go on forever. In the Sun, the fusion of hydrogen occurs between a hydrogen-1 isotope and a hydrogen-2 isotope. They fuse to create a helium-3 atom. In man-made nuclear fusion reactions, an atom of the hydrogen isotope deuterium and the deuterium isotope are collided. They fuse to form a helium-4 atom, releasing large amounts of energy and a neutron at the same time. Nuclear fusion power generation is not a viable power source as of yet, simply because of the fact that the reactions are too powerful and uncontrollable. However, vast amounts of research is being put into it and the first fusion reactors may start being built in only 10 years. Stars form in nebula. In these clouds, hydrogen clumps form together gradually heating under the growing gravity until, at the centre, it is hot enough for fusion to occur. This is how a star is formed. This first star is called a prostar. From here it grows into what is called a main phase star or a yellow star. This is both brighter and hotter than a prostar. Our sun is a main phase star. At this point in the star's life, it can go down two different paths. Firstly, it can become a red supergiant, which is fusing heavier elements. Only bigger stars tend to become these. When this runs out of fuel, as on its own, it can only fuse elements up to iron 55, the star will collapse on in onto itself until it forms a supernova that explodes outwards in a giant shockwave. This releases energy up to the total amount that the star has released in the rest of its life. What is left behind is called a neutron star, which is exceedingly dense, far more so than the density of our Earth. The second path that the star could go down would be to become a red giant, which is very similar to the super red giant, only smaller. This too will collapse, but it will form a white dwarf, a glowing ball of matter that is still very, very hot, left over from the star. This will cool down into a black dwarf, which is no longer glowing. The first elements were created by the Big Bang. All of the elements from hydrogen to iron are made in stars. First of all, the star will fuse hydrogen to make helium but it will eventually run out of hydrogen and will have to fuse the helium to form lithium and so on, all the way to iron. It is speculated that all heavier elements than iron were formed by even more cataclysmic events, such as two white dwarfs colliding or a supernova. <laughs>